we do understand uh, the principles of God as a people, specifically if we've studied it. My daughter will have great advantages that I didn't necessarily have, although my grandmother was, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you call it. She was an usher in the Baptist church, Progressive Baptist Church in Chicago. My grandmother, I believe, loved God, but she was a firecracker. <laughs> She died in 1973. I, I used to, for years, I thought it was 1972 instead, until I saw the placard. She died in 73. I was uh, six years old, about to turn seven when she died. I remember going to the church with her, uh, but I didn't necessarily see her, um, you know, reading or whatever, because I was so young. But I knew she loved God. She really did. Uh, she was in that church. If that church was open, I believe she was there. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my grandmother was like my mother. Now, I know she was loved because when she passed on in 73, the whole church was filled. And it's a pretty big church. Progressive Baptist Church in Chicago is... Uh, pretty big and I remember it just being full of cars as a kid you know just procession was long uh, so she was obviously pretty popular in the neighborhood pretty well known uh, back in those days my, my, my grandmother my aunts used to cook on the holidays people would come to the houses uh that told me a lot about my aunts and my and my grandmother. That told me that to a certain degree they were intercessors in the neighborhood. They had too much favor with too many people. I, so as I as I've gotten older, uh, you can kind of tell who are the great intercessors. Um. People come to them. Now, I'm a quiet guy, uh, as, as, as much as you may or may not believe that. doesn't matter. I'm a pretty quiet guy. I, I enjoy uh, doing what I do with leaders uh, without... I enjoy what I do. And, and the people that I uh, have shared my time with, uh, I personally consider leaders. Even whether they see it themselves as leaders or, or whatever, uh, I, I, like being the, I like being the background guy. Uh, and I like seeing people succeed and I like helping them to succeed in my own little way. It's I'm not, you know, some big guy or anything like that. I just love seeing people become successful. And I like to support them in any way I possibly can, whether it's doing organizational leadership or maybe giving a, 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 a kind word to them, encouraging them, you can do it, you know, type of deal. Um, I don't know how exactly how much value that has to it, but uh, I like interceding on that level. Intercessory is necessary for the growth of a community. People intercede naturally for those they like. Uh, they do not intercede naturally for those they do not like. Even though the Bible will even say something, and again, I'm, not, I, I, I'm just throwing this in the mix for you to consider, even though the Bible says, bless those who curse you. Um, 
Bless those who despitefully use you. <laughs> uh, we don't understand the principles of it, so we don't do it. We don't understand the value of interceding for those who you feel, who we feel, are less than us. We rather isolate them and not serve them understanding that your lack of intercessory is a reflection of your character, not the character of the person that you have deemed unworthy. Just another way of looking at it. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to share the principle out of Leviticus chapter 16. <laughs> All you people who call yourself children of Israel, the principle is very clear. It's just a principle. It's just a principle. And if you don't believe me or the way I read it, study to show yourself approved. This is for my grandchildren, for my guys and gals in Kenya specifically, but if it's a blessing to you, so be it. This is important because this is how the world system beats the children of light. The children of darkness are more cunning than the children of light. Because the children of light, in their arrogance and understanding that they're the children of light, feel like it's their power to bless and curse people as they want to. The children of darkness don't have that problem. What do I mean by that? Children of darkness know how to stand together. They know how to create together. They don't have to like each other. Because it's not about liking each other. It's about moving their kingdom forward. So you will see children of darkness coming together. Listen, Iran, the government of Iran in 2023 doesn't like the ha does, doesn't have to like the people of Hezbollah but they have a common goal Russia and China they don't have to like each other but they have a common goal Children of light say, eh, I don't like that guy. I don't like that girl. You know, so I'm not going to. It's you have an emotional. You make emotional choices over principled choices. I don't like Muslims. I don't like Christians. Uh, I don't like Jews. You make emotional choices. Our ways are right, their ways are wrong. You make emotional choices. Leviticus 16. Uh, uh, it's a lot, but we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna read 16 with commentary part of 16 with commentary and we'll close there. I think I need to start at the beginning of that. And the Lord spoke unto Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron when they offered before the Lord and died. On the previous video we talked about that so we won't go there. And the Lord said unto Moses, Speak unto Aaron thy brother that he come not at all times into the holy within the veil before the mercy seat. Now, it has been taught that a sinful person can't go before the mercy seat. That is incorrect. Uh, 
uh, because offerings are taken before the mercy seat by Aaron, the high priest. Now, we have rightly said that it is the high priest that addresses the mercy seat. Um, but he can go in there sinful because he goes in there to make offerings for sin. That'll be demonstrated here. Uh, verse two again, part of, part the way, uh, part of the way in verse two. Aaron thy brother, that he come not at all times into the holy, within the veil before the mercy seat, which upon the ark, that he die not, for I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat, because that's when he's going to even explain that later on thus Aaron thus Aaron shall come thus shall strike that thus shall Aaron come into the holy with a young bullock for a sin offering so there you go the bullock by the way is for Aaron so when you approach the mercy seat you approach the mercy seat with your offering for your sin now, there's no more offering for sin today. I explained that in a previous video as well. But we're paying attention to the principle. It really gets good after this. For a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. So he's dedicating himself and he's confessing his sin. Confess your sin first, actually, and then dedicate yourself. And he shall put on the holy linen coat and he shall have the linen breeches upon his flesh and shall gird within a linen girdle with the linen miter and all this other stuff. Now so he confessed his sins, he dedicated himself, he put on the holy garment if you're paying attention in verse 5 and he shall take the congregation of the children of Israel two kids of goats for a sin offering and one ram for a burnt offering. This is intercessory. So he confessed his sins. He offered himself dedication, burnt offering. And he, this is the high priest. Then he put on the holy garments. Then after he confessed his sins, after he dedicated himself, then he was anointed. And, and the proof of the anointing, not saying that he wasn't called, well, strike that. He was anointed before, you know, before, before you know, I knew you, I appointed you. But he took his place in his office. Let me put it like that. Then once he took his place in his office, then he offered sacrifices for the children of the congregation at, at the command of the Father. These are principles of intercessory. And in verse 6, And Aaron shall offer his bullock of sin offering, which for himself and make an atonement for himself and for his house. So he's responsible for his house, the Levitical house, the house of Levi. I think, yeah. So I think, and I, this is what I want to say, I think what we don't believe is we don't have to take responsibility for our house. I'm not saying everyone, but I have certainly talked to other people that said, well, that's their problem. No, we make intercession for our house. This is all the children of Israel. This is not, this is not pastor so-and-so, priest so-and-so uh, at the temple. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, you know, they have, you know, guest speakers and then they have other people within the... No, no. It, you know, this this is all of us. 
These are principles that not only are we to first confess our own sins, first dedicate ourselves to the process, next take up our position within the body, and then serve the people. You could be a doctor, lawyer, pastor, teacher, preacher, fireman, policeman, state government. These are principles. I know a state representative, and I'm sure he doesn't like everybody in his district, but he represents everyone in his district. I know a, a fire captain. I know a fire captain. I know he doesn't get a, a, a get along with everybody in his city, but he represents everyone in his city. I know some pastors. I know they don't get along with everybody, but their job is to represent everybody. At a certain point, we have to learn how to die. If we're truly interested in the principles of God moving forward. At a certain point, uh, we, have to rep we have to recognize that it's our job to first confess our sins, dedicate ourselves. This is These are just principles. This is the way I read it. If you read it differently, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll welcome your input. But we all have to go before the holy, right? Aren't we all going to the mercy seat? Aren't we all taking the steps of confessing our sins? Aren't we all interested in dedicating ourselves to the principles, that's the way I read this. Now I'm not going to get into, I'm not going to get into the, the 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 offerings themselves, but what I will say, uh, other than the offerings themselves, uh, is the process. And so I'm going to make intercessory too because I don't want these to go too long. But I hope you follow me on this. This is this is huge, very important. 